So I love How to Get Away with Murder. It was one of my fave shows, I want to say last year. I guess it did premiere last year, but then carried on into this year, into 2015. But I have been waiting on it to return for so, so, so long. So I was ecstatic that it returned this week. And it's such an awesome show because everything that it promises, it totally delivers. So the big cliffhanger from last season was Who Killed Rebecca? And they told us in the very first episode of the first season, they didn't drag it out. They didn't make us wait. And that's why I love this show. So something is up with Wes because he comes to Annalise's class really late. Then he kind of smarts off to her when she's asking him questions. And you guys know he's pretty close to Annalise. He doesn't normally act this way. So we can't figure out what is up with him. Could it be that he killed Rebecca, his girlfriend? We end up seeing in the very first moments of this first episode of season two how Rebecca died and it was pretty gruesome because she had like a bag tied over her head and she was suffocated so gosh that's awful but I I could not figure out myself who killed Rebecca did you guys figure it out if you did hit the big thumbs up because we find out at the end of the episode so if, if you're a fan of how to get away with murder you know there's always a second story going on and that's usually a trial that Annalise has taken on and her team is helping her figure out and she's the attorney in this case. So for the time being, she is not the attorney in this side story that we have, but we do have a side story. This involves a brother and sister pair who were adopted and they're accused of torturing and murdering their parents. Now usually, here's one thing that's different in this episode, usually uh, this side story or the side stories get all tied up neatly by the end of the episode. This one, however, it may just carry on for the entire season. So I thought that was really interesting. So Annalise is eager to take on a new case and she wants to take on this case. Um, even though the siblings already have their own lawyer, she decides that they can like manipulate this guy and kind of tamper with everything to make, you know, these the brother and sister want her to represent them and not this guy. So she goes to meet with them and they're not feeling it, but she's not worried about that because she knows she can work her magic and they'll end up totally begging for her to defend them. So we have a celeb guest in this episode, which is pretty common for this show, and it is Famke Jansen. You'll remember her from the X-Men series, or you might remember her from the X-Men series. And we know she has some kind of connection to Annalise from the past, but we're just not quite sure what that is. We also know that she was invited there by Annalise to help her out, and we find out it's because Annalise wants her to represent Nate, who is Annalise's boyfriend, even though he is married and she was married until her husband died. But anyway, that's beside the point at this time. Um, but the thing is that Eve, who is Famke's character, isn't really into defending Nate, but we'll get more on that just a little bit later. So Oliver and Connor are still together, but Oliver is really stressing because near the end of last season, he found out he was HIV positive, and he's worried about, you know possibly infecting Connor. Plus he's worried that Connor's not going to stick around, that Connor's not really serious about this relationship anymore. But Connor's like, no, I'm totally all in. So Frank has been spying on Wes and he believes that Wes killed his own girlfriend. Uh, but Annalise is like, no, I'm not buying it. So she decides to set Wes up to just finally figure out if he is the one who did it. She tells Wes that they actually know where Rebecca is. She's staying in a local motel. She is safe and you know, there's really nothing to worry about. So what they told him, you know, they, she told him this because she hopes that he will follow or go check up on um, Rebecca and Frank plans on following him. Of course, that doesn't actually work out. So the news is out that Bonnie and Asher have been hooking up. But what I didn't understand from this episode is that Asher acted really weird when she invited him over. Like he totally blew her off. Do you guys know why he did this? If you know or have any guesses, just post those down below because I really couldn't figure it out because he was like all about her last season. So we have a big new mystery. Well, we're going to end up with a couple of them, but the first big new mystery of this season is who is Eggs 911? Eggs 911 was someone that Rebecca texted from Michaela's phone just hours well, just shortly before her own death and I guess this character is going to play a pivotal role this season because the show even put up the hashtag you know who is eggs 911 so we may not find that out until near the end of the series do you guys have any idea who that might be if so please put your guesses down below I really have no clue at this point 
Um, I assume it's someone that we've met before, but perhaps it's someone that we haven't. It's really too early to tell. So Eve, Pam P. Jansen, meets with Nate. She's not feeling him. She feels like she, he's someone that she can't really trust. And she just straight up tells him she doesn't want to take on his case. And he's like furious about it and furious with Annalise. She might change her mind in just a little bit. So Michaela wants to know who Eggs 911 is too. She's not really comfortable with this person knowing her phone number. And she's at the bar one night and she stupidly texts like a simple hi, which was kind of her way to see if this person would reply. And that night at least the person did not get back to her. So let's go back to the side story that we're covering in this episode. So the sibling's aunt says that um, they for sure did it because she was at home when this murder took place. Um, it's kind of funny because Annalise's team is doing all kinds of, you know, corrupt things, because let's just face it, they are corrupt, to try to screw with basically the, the defense attorney trying to make him look bad so that the brother and sister will drop him, and honestly, it's working pretty well. Now, Wes confesses to Annalise that the reason he's been acting all weird is because he actually really misses Rebecca and he feels bad that she hasn't reached out to him and he knows it's not going to work out between them. They're not going to get back together and he's like, you know, I'm going to have to let her go. I'm going to have to move on. And at this point, Annalise realizes that, you know what, Wes actually did not kill uh, Rebecca. She was right about that. So Carla is able to figure out that Rebecca is dead and she tells Frank and so Frank immediately thinks, oh my gosh, Carla did it. But, come on, that's not true either. So he goes to Annalise, he's like, I know who did it, it's Carla, she knows that she's dead, so it has to be her. But at this point, Annalise has already figured it all out. She knows who did it, and shocker here, I mean, I was kind of shocked by this, it ends up being Bonnie. Now, Bonnie is a shady character, I've never trusted her. I was a little surprised that she killed Rebecca, but Annalise goes to confront her, and she's like, yeah, I did it for a couple of reasons. One, she was afraid that Rebecca would go to the police and rat them all out because they've done a lot of different criminal things. I mean, there's so much stuff that they could all go to jail for, if you remember all that from last season. Um, and secondly, she truly believes that Rebecca killed Lila. We all know from last season that Frank killed Lila, but guess what? None of the Keating 7 or the Keating 5, how many are there? Five, maybe? None of them know that he did it, that he's kind of a ruthless guy, to be honest. Um, but Annalise is totally, totally fed up with Bonnie, and she's like, you're a monster, and they are on very, very, very bad terms, because we know that Rebecca really wasn't a bad person, and she totally didn't deserve to die, especially the brutal way that Bonnie killed her. So now it seems like everyone connected with Annalise is like some kind of terrible criminal. Some of them are really ruthless, awful people and criminals. It's, it's terrible. So the siblings accused of killing their parents uh, finally meet with Annalise, and they're seems like they're kind of interested in taking her on, even though they don't come right out and say it. We know that's probably going to happen in the next episode, but they're like, you know, we're totally innocent. We're being framed here. I don't know about that. I kind of am getting a guilty vibe for them. Do you think that the brother and sister killed their parents? Please post your answers down below. So Connor decides to let Oliver know that he's super serious about the relationship, so he just moves in with him. He's like, you know, I want to make this happen. I'm committed to you, which I think that's awesome. Annalise takes her team clubbing because she wants them to let off some steam and, like, forget about all the Rebecca drama for, the, for a while. Um, so the prosecuting attorney, and here's this is near the end of the episode, so we're setting up stuff for next week's episode. The prosecuting attorney is trying to blackmail Asher um, because she's not comfortable with Eve being Nate's new attorney. She's really worried about that. Anyway, she told, tells Asher that she knows about kind of the stuff that went down with them in the woods and, and what all went on with Frank. Now, I don't know how much she really knows or she's kind of just bluffing here, but it scares him enough and he just starts talking. So Asher's really not that intelligent. It's, it's just not, it's not good. <laughs> um, actually, Eggs 911 finally sends two texts to Michaela, but she's at the club and she's up dancing and all we see is her phone and we see that Eggs is texting her, but she hasn't seen it yet. I do think she'll see that in the next episode and possibly respond, so we, may, we might get some more information. So get this, there was a couple of big shockers at the end of this episode. One, the aunt who said that the brother and sister duo definitely killed their parents because she was there when it happened. She turns up in a car and she has been murdered. Very interesting. Who do you guys think did that? And the most shocking scene is when we flash forward two months into the future and we see, now this is really weird to me, 
We uh, are taken to the mansion of the parents who were murdered by the brother and sister who are the side story of this episode. And we hear like a gunshot and we see Annalise on the floor like in a puddle, a pool of her own blood. She looks super injured. And we see kind of like Wes running away from the scene. Now I think this is a red herring because I don't think he did it, but there's some kind of reason that he's there. But why is she at the house of the murdered uh, couple? So weird because like I said earlier, Usually these side cases, they wrap up neatly at the end of every episode, but this one, considering she's in their house two months in advance, I think this one's going to have some significance to the entire season. So the three big questions we have coming away from this episode, one, who is Eggs 911? Why should we care? Two, who murdered the aunt of the sibling? Actually, there's four questions. Three, did the brother and sister duo kill their parents and why are they significant? And four, what happens to Annalise at the end? Will she live or will she die? Um, personally, I think there's no way she dies because she is everything and she is how to get away with murder. So I think she's definitely going to make it. But I would love to hear your thoughts on any of those four questions or just your thoughts in general on this season and what do you expect or hope from the season. And I will be um, reviewing every single episode of season two of How to Get Away with Murder. So if you are a fan of this show, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to let me know you like these types of videos. And thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Hey, hey, hey.